Thank Welcome you. back. This segment is brought to you by Plastic Surgery Associates. Now, many people have things that bother them about their parents, whether it's bumpy nose, or maybe some droopy eyes, or maybe some crow's feet. Dr. Douglas Vanderwoody from Plastic Surgery Associates is here now to show some, some of the different facial surgeries can change your look a bit. Some little tweaks and things like that that we kind of all have as we get older. Maybe things that have bothered us our whole life, right? Correct. What for you guys, what is the most common request you get? What is the number one thing that most people come to you about? Number one, well, in terms of numbers, the most common are actually the minor procedures like okay. Botox and facial uh -huh. fillers and things like that. Uh, the most common operative procedure is actually uh, breast implants. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, some of the things that we're going to be talking about today, let's start with noses because noses seem a yep. really common thing. That's, a, that's, that's right. one thing that you hear about, whether it's a bumpy nose or maybe you had it broken in sports or something like that. Right. Some little tweaks. So we've got a couple pictures, some before and after pictures. So let's bring this one up and let's talk about like some different things. Who is this right here and, and what did you want to have done? So this is a patient that presented, had a larger uh, bump throughout her life, preferred to have a smaller, um, more proportionate nose for okay. her face, which is the common thing that we see with um, rhinoplasty patients or nose reshaping requests. Okay. That's, so she had a standard rhinoplasty to decrease the projection of her nose, take care of the bump, and kind of tailor the tip to fit the rest of the nose. Okay, and how long, well what that. is the recovery time for something like that for when it comes to your nose? Uh, recovery time, a week wearing a little splint on your nose. Okay. And a little black and blue and swelling about the eyes is typical during that time. And most of the time, by 10 days or so, people are doing pretty good. well. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we've got another one, too, speaking of more noses. Let's, yeah. let's take a look at the next one. Yeah, same, same type of idea, just a little bit prominent nose, especially in the mid portion. In this case, the tip was a little less of an issue, but the uh, reshaping was mostly to uh, make the nose more proportionate in size to the rest of the face, which, uh, again, went well for her, and uh, she was pleased with that. Um, Pretty straightforward procedure. People do well with that and uh, not a lot of trouble for people Pretty low by maintenance. and large. Who's yeah. the best candidate for, for um, uh, fixing the nose? Well, it's all about how much it bothers you. Okay. Um, clearly, there's, there's a wide range of nasal shapes and sizes. Oh, sure. and, and, um, uh, but if, if it's an issue that bothers you, particularly if it's a larger nose with a bump or some, something different about the tip that's, you know, that you would like to change, certainly we could, we could look into that. It's, um, individual, of course, we'd have to review that in a consultation in order to gotcha. to see what we could do. Okay, well, let's take a look at some full face ones now, or let's bring mm -hmm. up the before real quick. Yep. So this is a lady who uh, wanted to freshen her appearance, uh, more traditional uh, facial cosmetic surgery, if you okay. will. A little bit heavy in the cheeks, which is the early wow. jowl formation, that Big sort of difference. thing. Uh, upper and lower lid lift as well, and tightening of the neck, okay. so you can erase a few years with, with we like, those kind of <laughs> We all want to erase a few years. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the next one, the next the next before one that we have. Yep. This is a lady whose primary concern was the, the puffiness or bags below the eyes. Okay. And, and does uh, that get more pronounced as you get older, too? Yeah, a lot of times it does. People have, have uh, sort of a, a weakening or relaxing of that tissue and makes oh, okay. that puffiness more prominent over time. So with a lid lift like this, which is a pretty straightforward procedure, you can, again, race, erase oh, a yeah. few years with that, give a fresher appearance. Now, what are some of the questions? Okay, here's another, here's another before one. I want to take yep. a look at this one, too, first. So this lady had quite a bit of environmental damage to her skin and... Um, some early changes you know that are age related a little bit of loss of volume in the cheeks so she had a couple of procedures to to freshen that appearance oh, she had wow. a, a mini facelift a little bit of fat grafting wow. to the cheeks to bring that volume back up um, and then eventually had a um, a uh, laser procedure to, to, wow. to resurface the skin. That's definitely a very noticeable one, especially that yeah. last one. Almost feels like years went back into Absolutely. that. Just a softer look around the face. Softer and too. brighter look, that's right. What should people ask when they go in for a consultation? Like, what, what should they be asking want to know from their plastic surgeon? Mm -hmm. Well, um, first thing to, to get out there, of course, is, is, you know, why are we here? What are you, what are you concerned with? What do you want to change? But when, but when you're looking at your um, options in terms of plastic surgeons, obviously it's a good idea to, to know that you're dealing with somebody who's qualified and trained and board certified. We always emphasize those things. Okay. Um, having a track record and, and some experience in the field, of course. Good word important. of mouth is always word good, too. Word of mouth is yes. always a good one. Hey, where'd you get those? Where'd you get that? Right. I like your <laughs> nose. How'd you do that? That's right. That's <laughs> all, right. Good, all good tips. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for providing those tips. Now, you yep. can learn more online. 
mind, there's going to be actually going to be a seminar right here, the Facial Surgery Seminar from Plastic Surgery Associates. It is Thursday at 6.30, and you can see it right there. It runs from 6.30 to 8.30 at Plastic Surgery Associates. You can register online or call 616-988-3167. And, of course, you can find all of this information and more on our website at WZZM13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links. Up next, we're going to look at how a new local resource is helping treat people with a high risk of developing breast cancer. Stick around, please.